Hey guys, crew Blonde Wave back. I'm Aaron. I'm Rick. And we are back with Castlevania, where last time we learned some things about Saint Germain. Yeah, he came back. He was the last one that really hadn't made a reappearance. Now I kind of wish he hadn't. Yeah, I know. Now he's like on the bad guy side, working with Varney and bringing monsters to this place to bring Alucard so they can now go to the castle and keep all the villagers safe at the castle. Because he wants to bring back Dracula. Yeah, and they need to be at the place where Dr Dracula died. Yep. In the castle. Which will mean maybe everyone will get back together. Sure. We have Hector and Isaac out there, too, doing things. They've both been connect, uh, contacted by Varney. Yep. Um, Isaac said, fuck off. <laughs> it seemed he's not interested. He's also trying to turn the bad monsters a little bit better. Yeah, he's just kind of off on his own right now. Doing his own thing. Um, and then we had uh, Hector just making stuff. I don't know really what he's going to be doing. He doesn't seem like he's for the vampire girls. I mean, he was talking so, to Varney, I think. Sure. But he's also talking to... Uh, Lenore. True. And I don't know exactly where he stands and where she stands on some of it. Because a lot of the vampire sisters, like, don't seem too war-hungry. Yeah, they're not all on the same page, it seems. Because Camilla is really off on her own. So, yeah, let's see how it all pans out this time. And our chances of making it to your castle before we're spotted and those fresh orders are given? Oh, somewhere between slim and none, I would imagine. When I want to hear from you, I'll throw a coin in your begging bowl. <laughs> All this and a magical tramp. Backs off. Magical. I am but a scholar, madam. The scents you detect are entirely down to Alucard having recently used soap and my having to fight your chickens for access to pond water. <laughs> and losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spiders. That's... Head! That's a person's head? How'd he get a bear? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, what's that? Where's that? There's something. Whoa, that's not a spider. That was just a dead space. Oh. Maybe it is more spidery. Okay, no. never mind. No calls for help from you. Ah. Oh! Acid like pouches. Shield. More than one. Right, that's bad. Yeah, you can still see the villagers. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. It's your Daniel Forsky. Yeah. Let's try thinking for a moment before we now. Oh, Do you know how Styria has lasted so long? Because you're all very clever vampire sisters. <laughs> You've been paying attention, yes. But also because we didn't overreach. Vampires are thirsty, Lenore. You're capable of actually listening to me. Maybe you'll reach your other point before I die of old age. The four <laughs> of us support each other. She said she had one plan. To annex land from here to the sea. She promised me that was her plan, and then she was left alone, and then I made her angry, and she showed me her maps. Mm -hmm. She doesn't seem happy with this idea. I think then. she lied to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Just you're... the way Dracula lied to me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Finding common ground. Oh! Is it like, or something? Oh. Afraid to look at it right now. We're in action. Look at them die! Kill the bastards! Yeah. Yeah. That dog looks terrified. Ah! Apparently he thought so too. He took it out first. And then, I'm ashamed to say, I put them on stakes outside the castle like I was my father. <laughs> they just. They just keep talking after killing things. It's like in Gears of War, you have a thing and then you talk, you walk for a bit and you're talking in your ear. That's what my mom always used to say. Hang on a second. <laughs> Whoa, what are they doing? 
I think it's huge. Yeah. I approve of their work. Okay. Whoa. Dude, it has so many limbs. Lots of things that can kill you. So fast. Space mounted on. It might take a minute. <laughs> right? Between the flirting. Uh, how you doing? It's really quite ugly as sin. It's not ugly. It's ugly. And it's sad. <laughs> and it's cold. That's my child at home you're talking about. Well, that explains a lot. Sorry. Some places just have a chill on them. It's magnificent. And there, it's his dream. the Belmont Hold, I believe. Ah, uh, yes. This, my dear lady, may be the most important place in the modern world. You know what bothers me so much? No, oh, it's just another lovely day in shit town. <laughs> oh, good, at least. One, you're still a terrible human being. Never claim to be anything else. That doesn't make it better. Two, you are right. I may faint dead away. Shut up. <laughs> We've been running from event to event, reacting instead of planting our feet and just acting. You cannot put latrines that close to where you sleep and cook. You'll all get sick. <laughs> the court needs this. You will, by God, give tribute to your rulers. Oh, hell no. <laughs> what? You want these people to give up what little food they can find to your invisible king and queen? I realize that we are on the same side, but you need to understand that I can kill you by looking at you. <laughs> if there's an underground court, then there's got to be a series of catacombs under the city, like crazy. Because if there was just one underground that was location, the first, uh, it would have been found by the vampires already. They have to be. That's where they found Alucard, right? Yeah, I think so. Extensive enough that the bloody vampires are nesting down there too. Makes sense. Mm. Away from the sun. And these things must be everywhere. Oh, shit, I'm not. Oh, shit. Oh. Nail? What was that? Put it in her shirt. That plan has evolved. Oh, that's the castle the with the sisters, right? Yes. Is now conquest. Conquest? I feel like that's different from what he was saying before. Kill just... everything you see. Oh. Except Hector the Forge Master. He is for me alone. Oh. Huh. Kinda of what we thought Hector was gonna do, but I felt I don't like understand was, how we got there. I felt like he was a little nicer with like what he was going about, but maybe it's more of like the night creatures. I'm gonna treat more like people. I don't care about most other people. I don't know. I don't know. He was leaving that for other people, being like, "Well, someone else can come find this and thanks to our city." I mean, maybe he knows that Hector started making them again. True. Like, so he has to stop them. Conquest. Like, I guess when he says conquest, what does that mean? Yeah. Well, right. he said kill everything you see, so... Yeah, 
But does that mean there where he's where they're looking through the mirror place like that place? So. It doesn't mean like everything. Everything. You know, conquest right now for Isaac doesn't have to equal what Carmilla's conquest is. Sure. Like the Lenore's talking about her taking over the world, like take over Europe, take over Euro the world, all that. Yeah. Like does Isaac just want to take over? Is it called Styria? Yeah. Maybe. Or he has a hell of an army too. Does. But. Yeah, and Hector's a little behind the eight ball, making theirs. They got vampires. Sure. But most of their army is still away, right? Yeah, they were out marching. Like, they're heading back. They're bound to be weak, I would imagine. I would think so. Hmm. Hector's Unless Lenore gets a chance to use diplomacy. since With Hector? Yeah. Or Isaac, I mean? Yeah, with Isaac. Because, I mean, that's her main, that's her main thing, right, is diplomacy. Sure. I don't know. I mean, do you think there's any way that Hector and Isaac are on the same side again? Maybe. I don't know. I know that he felt that Dracula lied to him, right? Like, yes. Hector was not happy with that. Isaac seemed like he was more for Dracula, but maybe not so much now. I don't know. Like, But uh, we think Hector's bringing back Dracula. Yeah. Maybe Isaac would be for that. I don't know. Otherwise, we got to the castle after a long walk mm -hmm. and lots of Monsters to slay. It's so funny that they just had their conversation and then there was a fire fight and the conversation just started again. It is, it's such like a video game. There was like the first one where they were fighting, like, no, we're, they're fighting right now. And then just cut to them just walking through the woods. I'm like, oh. And then as it kept going more and more, it kept doing that. I'm like, okay, there's just like, these are just, yeah. they're just fighting something and they're walking, talking. Like, love blooms on the battlefield, I guess. Like, no big deal. It's like, yeah, they didn't miss a beat in their conversation or their flirting. Despite the fact that dogs got ripped into pieces. Like little tiny cute dogs, just ripped up. Yep. Guys melted by acid, giant spider things. It's crazy. It's crazy what's happening in this world. I love the the, the design of the different like monsters. Yeah, they're cool. They look so good. And they all look very, like for the most part, they look very unique. Like there's a lot of like different ones. There's not a whole lot of like, sure. this is exact same as what this is, you know? Yeah, because in the games you get like, you know, a hundred skeletal knights that throw the axes. They all look the same. So they made it to the castle. They can be protected there. I kind of forgot that it's next to the Belmont estate, so. Yeah, I mean, like, St. Germain, if he wasn't trying to get Dracula back, like, he would be in heaven. Yeah, just reading all there'd be a books. lot of information here, right? But that's not his, not his plan. I imagine he's probably going to have to sacrifice some people in order to make it happen. Like, maybe that's why he didn't just come himself. Mm -hmm. Dracula's castle, like maybe you need to bring these people. I here. mean, we saw some attempts to summon him back before, right? And they mm -hmm. did involve some sacrifices and stuff too, sure or necromancy did. or whatever. So I don't know what his plan is to get around Alucard, though. I mean, I guess summon the other vampires. Yeah, Dragon. Or you use Greta as like a hostage, hostage maybe, or something. What was the green magic nail? I don't know. Even like. So it that didn't penetrate her, right? It was just on her clothes? Was it something that Hector was making? Or not that I know of. Okay. Yeah, I, I imagine no it's from like Barney and those guys. Probably. Because they're trying to find the secret place with the royalty or whatever. Is it like a listening device? Because it didn't like dig into her. Like it's they were clothes. I don't think it went into her. So I, I don't think it's like a clothes. mind control sort of thing. So like Unless tracking? It's just waiting for its moment. Tracking, but In some way? why would they need to track her? Or to hear, listen, to like how you get, because like the catacombs are vast, right? Sure. So if, if they tell Belmont how to get there, then they can hear how to get there, maybe. Maybe. Maybe something like that. I don't know. But like, it was like a nail, and it was like, and then it did like a, it turned like a clasp on the back of her clothes or something. It was weird. It turned into like a, a three ring binder paper thing. Yeah. It like goes into and keeps the paper together. Or like a fishing hook. Yeah, kind of like a fishing hook too. But yeah, I don't know what that is or what the plan is exactly. Like, like at first I was kind of suspicious of Zamfir, uh, uh, Zamfir, Zamfir. Of like, I'm just not sure if she's only up and up. Like, what if she's working for the vampires and they're the kings and queens under the ground? Sure. But now with the nail, I don't really think that anymore. I feel like it's probably people. And it doesn't make sense then, right? Yeah. It doesn't fit. So I did like the uh, the push for like the town, right? Like the like they're doing things wrong. They're not, everything's a mess. 
But chaos and is taking over. And everything. Sam Fur's like trying to take the money or the food, I mean. He's like, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> to try to collect taxes, basically. Pretty much. For an imaginary leader and whatnot. And I was like, I get that. Like, what if there is no leader? And you're just taking a bunch of food and having the food and holding it, you know? I don't know. So I did like that she's, like, trying to help. And yeah. I, I kind of like that they cut over to Belmont, and Belmont's kind of like, <laughs> you know, like, chuckling at her and her working and trying to make things better. No, she's making a difference. Just curious how, what their role is going forward. Sure. You know, how like, they can how does this t- this town tie into everything? Because yeah, I figure, um, what's his name, Malcolm McDowell, Bernie. Bernie. He's probably heading to Castle Dracula at some point. I mean, they need something from here. True. So whatever's going on here, it's it's and Belmont then, and Sifa Sifa. Mm-hmm. It's it's them with Varney, and then I imagine Varney will get the item he needs. They'll go to Castle. Is it Trevor's uh, dagger? Is that what he needs? There's also, yeah, there's that weird blue gem that went on that, that knife and stuff. And I don't know what they need. I'm not sure. But that's going to connect to Castlevania. So we'll have those. The, the Isaac and Hector are connecting with that stuff going on. Yeah. So. And uh, uh, Hector and Lenore are connecting. So just like. Sure. They relate to each other, having been lied to by the ones they trust the most. Yeah. Or, like, used in a scheme that they don't agree with. And with Castlevania, too, like, they could fight and then go to the, the, the Styria or whatever it is, too, with the castle, right? Like, the castle moves. I thought it broke. Did it break? I thought it broke with Dracula. I don't think he's ever fixed it. I thought they moved it here to put it in this location for some reason. Did Dracula put it here? I don't know why Dracula would put it here. Because it was over where they were flooding the place at one point, right? It definitely was. And then they moved it. I thought Dracula controlled it. And I thought it broke. Maybe. But maybe he fixed it. I forget. Not sure. I mean, St. Germain could maybe take them if he has any control over the infinite corridor. Sure. Or maybe he could understand how to fix it if it's not broken or how to operate it and move it. That's true as well. So. But he'll take some convincing too, I think. Maybe he'll oh, come. Yeah. I'm hoping he doesn't stay bad, right? Like. I hope so. But I, mean, I know he wants his loved one, but Dracula. All these vampires and killing all these people. Yeah. I don't know. Right now, I feel like we're in that point, too, where it's like, all right, I see some pieces kind of coming together. I don't know exactly where we're going with everything and how they're all going to exactly fit together, but yeah, we're getting there. We are. I'm excited to see more. I think we're getting into some the battle moments here soon, mm-hmm. especially with whatever's going on with Hector and Isaac. Like, that's going to be some that, crazy it's stuff. It's going to be a war. Like, at the, end of, the end of last season, whenever you took over the oh, town, yeah. like, that was a crazy moment there. Fighting yep. that damn... Legion. Mas- like <laughs> magic dude, whatever. Yep, that was, that was crazy. Yeah, no, I'm I'm intrigued. Yes, I, I'm excited to see how it's gonna go. <sighs> I agree. So let's I, see. I can't wait. More. We destroyed our mouse. Subscribe and you won't miss out on future Castlevania episodes. But if you want to see more right now, check down in the description below. You can see over at patreoncom slash with the next four episodes available over there, as well as the Raw Rider full length tier where you can watch the entire reaction. Can't click next episode. We're done. I'm going to go.